For me, storytelling is very much a way to have a voice in the world about things that I want to change. So for me, it's really like a, a form of activism in telling stories to create change or to like push against or to disrupt systems that I think are harmful and hopefully do it in a way that's hopeful and joyful. So we have seen over the last, you know, 15 years or so, a definite increase in the number of books about Asian Americans and Native Hawaiians, although the rate for Asian American stories has grown much larger than the stories for Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders. I think that there's always room for more stories and histories. I think one of the really interesting trends that I've seen um, within the AAPI community is the number of uh, Asian American authors who aren't necessarily writing about the Asian American experience and are writing biographies or broader stories, multicultural stories, which I think is a really wonderful way for us to demonstrate what inclusion looks like. Uh, so there's still a ways to go. Are people more vocal? Yes. Uh, you know, are there more and more authors and more stories? Yes. Does do we still need more? Like, do we have enough Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander stories? No, like hardly any written. And then if you want to go deep, like, do we have enough stories written by people who share that experience or that identity? And I think especially as um, we're looking towards, you know, understanding different cultures migration to the United States, whether as refugees, whether as colonized peoples, whether as immigrants, what that all looks like. I think there's a lot of room for, for more stories to be shared. If you're a writer, if you have stories to tell, like, please tell them we need them. There is just so much power in being able to see ourselves and to learn our history in a critical way.